What's going on? We're back with another video and I got to say I'm pretty excited about this one because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and it's build a backstop for my bow range. Let's jump into it. So what you see here is all the materials I'm going to be using and I've seen other people do uh, variations of this on YouTube but this is all you're going to need. I got three two by fours, a two by six, a horse stall mat, some washers, screws, a drill, <laughs> tape measure, straight edge, as well as a level, a pen to mark, and circular saw. That, that's, all you're, that's all I'm gonna use. So I've been shooting long distance recently, and the problem is all of my shots, when I reach out to 70, 80, 90 yards, I'm too nervous about those shots going way past. I don't wanna go beyond my target, and if I'm off, whether I'm to the right, left, or high, which are my main concerns, I don't have a way of stopping my arrows. And it's dangerous. You don't want an arrow just flying, especially at those long distances. So I want to make myself a backstop. Pretty simple. I want to have something that I can put my target in front of so that if I miss, when I miss, because, you know, still learning how to shoot, I'm not going to hit beyond it. I'm not going to go into a tree or something that's beyond my target that potentially could be a problem. Whether it's a safe shooting behind it or not, I don't want to have to spine the arrows either. I've already lost a couple arrows. Don't want to lose more. So we're gonna make a three foot by four foot backstop, which should be plenty of distance uh, behind, the, uh, behind the target. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's jump into it. First things first, we gotta start measuring some things. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just laying out kind of what it's gonna look like from a framing perspective. Obviously the uh, two by six is too long, so I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. I'm probably gonna take off, since it's an eight foot, and this, this mat is four foot long. Yep, it's a four foot long mat. And I wanna have a hang off though. I want it to be able to hang off a little bit. I think I'm gonna cut it down to six feet. So it has a foot, or maybe, yeah, six feet. So it has a foot hanging off each side. I think that'll be plenty. And then since these are three feet, I just gotta cut these down to, well, realistically, do I wanna have it? I'm gonna cut it a little taller for these side, for these side wedges, because I want there to be the option to put a, um, well, really a, I wanna be able to have the option to put on a roof at some point. I think that's what I do, or I'll just do a version one and make a version two. So the screws I'm using are three inch threaded Phillips head screws and they're gonna be perfect. I mean, that's what I have laying around and washers because I wanna keep the mat in place. The first thing I need to do is drill the boards together so they sit properly. So let's get that done first. So this is an eight foot two by six. I wanna cut off a foot on each side. That wasn't hard at all. I've seen some other people use deck screws, but I'm gonna use what I've been using for the whole thing. We'll see how they work out. I'm using a washer with it so it holds it in place.
I got an idea. I'm gonna cut a board in between the back of here so this touches it and it's just one solid piece. It's pretty sturdy. I mean, the front's pretty heavy, but this brace is definitely keeping it from falling. Now to do the 20 yard test. Okay, so we got two errors we're gonna shoot at it. The first one to see how it stops it. Just a field point and a broadhead. This is an annihilator too, so this one's really sharp, but let's see how they stop them. Holds up pretty well. Broadhead test. It's got golf clap snaps in the chat. Well, so it held up pretty well. That's the broadhead and the field point at 20 yards. The field point didn't go through as far. The broadhead almost went all the way, but it, it, you know, it, it stopped at the fletchings, which, oh, this is gonna be a pain to get out, but I'd say it's a success. Well, there it is, you know? I count this as a win. It wasn't too crazy expensive. Here's the total cost behind it. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. It took about, what time is it? It's about 6.50. We started this around 5.30. So a little over an hour and 20 minutes, 10, an hour and a half. Say 90 minutes it takes to really build it. But as you can see, it really does stop the field points and the broadheads at close distance. Realistically, we're only gonna be using it at longer distance anyway. So we have that nice backstop you see there at the top of the hill. So we're shooting 70 and 80. We're not looking all over the place. If we don't hit the, you know, hit our target which is fine, that's all we wanted it for. And this is only a three by four target, so they can do bigger ones, they have bigger mats like Tractor Supply and other places. But this, I'm calling it prototype one. It is a little heavy to move, had to put it on the wheelbarrow to get it up there. But I'm thinking about putting some wheels on it or making another one and have them at each distance and putting wheels on it so they're able to move around. But for now, that's the first one. Again, the total cost wasn't too bad. It's definitely something I would recommend trying for. Overall, kind of as a win. Well, that's it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.